Hi there, so I am just doing a quick video on brows. Um, this is something near and dear and close to my heart as I really don't have any eyebrows. Um, I don't really know why. I don't pluck them. I don't wax them. I used to get them waxed in high school and I needed to get them waxed and now they just don't really grow. And I haven't done plucking from the top and all that stuff you're not supposed to do so I don't know what the deal is. Um, maybe it's my mom's fault. No, I'm just kidding, Mom. I love you. Um, but, so I have tried out a variety of brow pencils, and I'm just going to share a little bit of stuff with you. Um, I'll start off with my favorites, and that is, I use these two MAC pencils. They're really, really thin. Um, it's called Eyebrows Crayon Pencil. I mean, it's pretty standard. Really, really thin pencils, which I like. Um, I have one in Fling, which is this light blonde kind of color, and one in Lingering, which is a darker. Um, your eyebrows are always supposed to be like one shade darker, I think, than your hair. Um, yeah, one shade darker. So like, I obviously get my hair highlighted and it's a mess right now, but um, it, I tend to use both because some days I feel like they're too light if I tan or something like that. Um, so I have both. I really like the light one, which is Fling. Um, and these are $15 each, which is kind of a lot when you can see in person how small it is. And I feel like these go really quick because I use them every day. Whether I use my extensive makeup or airbrush myself or don't do my makeup and just throw on a tinted moisturizer, I use pencils for my brows. Um, brows are like the frame, sorry that's my phone going off, um, the frame of your face. I mean, so especially if you do an eye look like this, like with like no real brows, it's just not going to look right no matter how beautiful your makeup is or what you're using. Um, so like I said, these are my top favorite. And I was really excited because I found these two, um, this is like crazy little brush, at CVS. They're by Maybelline New York define a brow in dark blonde and light blonde so you can see these two colors and they're really really similar if you look to the MAC ones if you can so I don't want to get too close um these are I think were like six dollars a piece or like seven dollars or like 6.89 or something and they have 0 0.001 ounce okay these MAC ones are 15 but they have 0 0.003 so long story short MAC ones, for once, um, well, not for once, they're always, I really love MAC products, if you know me, you know that, um, but I was trying to find a cheap, cheaper alternative, and these are not, because they only have like one-third of the product in them. So, I mean, convenience, you can just run to the store and get these, but these are great, and I love them, and I swear by them, and I've used them for years, so, you know, they win. Um, even cheaper cheaper alternatives, sorry, I'm tongue tied here. This Revlon Brow Fantasy, it has this like pencil thing on one side and then this is like a tamer, you know, just to like, this you just kind of use to just go over where you are just to make sure that whatever hairs you do have um, stay in place and I think that's really important too because you could always have a crazy brow and if you're running errands and stuff like that and you have something like poking up and no one tells you and you look crazy, um, not so good or if you're in pictures you know especially during the summer I love this stuff these this is great if you have actual eyebrows like really fun pretty eyebrows that I'm really jealous of um these this definitely works better for I think thicker eyebrows like I still use this little the liquid stuff just to tame sometimes and I can sometimes use this pencil but I like one of the thinner ones just because I have naturally thin eyebrows um so I really like this stuff that I think it works great if you have thicker brows then to the cheapos. This is this NYC just pencil. It's like super old. Um, this is the Milani Easy Brow. It's got this like, this is actually a, um, not sharpenable, but a twist one. And it's got this little brush for kind of just taming them on the other side. And then this is Boutique, which I got at Sally's. Same thing, a pencil, which is good because you can sharpen. Anything that you can sharpen, I'm a fan of because it's just more sanitary. If you use it on somebody else, you can sharpen it, sanitize it, you're good to go. Um, it has this little brush, which is kind of just like a comb thingy. Um, and I like all these. They're okay. I, I wish I could love them because then I would save a lot of money and not go. This is the New York one. Um, it's just, it's really thick. And I don't feel like, for me, it just kind of, it creates like a really big line when I don't always need that. Um, the Milani, the retractable one, the twist top one, this is really smooth and you can get 
a, sorry about that, this is the second one right here. You can get a thinner line, and I like it. It works pretty well. Um, it's smooth, and it's like, the, they're all the same colors almost. And this is the Boutique one. And it, I almost, I don't know. You can see that color, that's that third one right here. The last one it's really light and you kind of have to really press which can be a good thing you don't want an eye pencil like the Milani one will just like and you have it like everywhere which can be a bad thing because you don't want to have like crazy brows oh, sorry this one you almost have to like it I don't know it doesn't work as good because you have to keep going over it and you can see it creates like this I don't know it just creates like it just isn't my favorite one so I would say cheap wise, I would actually go with the Milani, the retractable one, or the NYC color in taupe. Um, but like I said, you know, these are definitely my my f favorites, the MAC pencils, $15, but I mean, if you think about it, your brows frame, everything you do, they're really important. And I really like these pencils because how thin they are. Um, let me show you what they do on here. I mean, you can get a really thin line. Like, I don't want to get too close to the camera because I don't think you can really see. And these, you, you know, you just twist up too. Um, the only problem is you can't really see when they're about to run out. So you're kind of like a guessing game. And if you're like me, you don't want to run out of your brow pencil. But that's why I usually generally just buy both because I use them both, you know what I mean, to balance each other out and things like that. Um, and like I said, brows are really important. Um... I don't have like a preference on big brows, small brows, skinny, whatever. I don't like super, super over plucked ones. Um, but I think girls that have thick ones, I'm always so jealous. Like I'll be the first one to be like, oh my God, look at her perfectly shaped arch brows. But I don't have those, so I do what I can. Um, but I hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.